What's up everybody? Good morning. It is about six o'clock in the morning and we're getting ready to finish packing up all our stuff back home and getting ready to move to Hamilton. And this has been a really long time coming. I remember thinking about this back in like December and it's now May and we're only just getting around to it. But I guess they say better late than never. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited to be able to meet some of my friends and classmates, explore the city and finally not have to drive an hour each way to go to my classes. But besides that, I don't know if you can see, but there's a ton of stuff on my bed still. The desk is still a mess and gotta be packed. Some stuff in the closet. Still a little bit of stuff to do before we start moving. That's why I woke up a little bit early. And right now, I'm gonna finish packing and then get on the road. Got to the place. Gonna give you a quick little tour. Don't mind all of the mess, just uh, stuff I gotta unpack later. It's like a little closet by the front door, a little pantry here. It opens kind of weirdly, but not bad. Lots of good space. Nice marble counter. Nice oven, microwave, lots of storage. Uh, there's a dishwasher down here. Good fridge, pretty big. Don't know what's in that bag, but uh, then I think this is gonna be a dining area. And then I think here we're gonna make a little like home gym area. So I'll show you guys the view from this place. Wow. So this is gonna be my bathroom. Uh, that's my room, don't mind the pile of clothes. Uh, and these are south facing windows. So I've heard from my mom that's uh, the best direction. So we finished bringing my stuff up to the apartment. Now we're just waiting out front uh, for the Ikea order to come. Uh, hopefully sometime soon. But it's a nice little break because moving all that stuff really worked up a sweat. Taking a lunch break, having a nice burrito from Burrito Boys, the ginger ale. So a little progress check of where we're at with the move-in. Calvary just left, parents are gone. I am officially on my own. Uh, the roommate is figuring some stuff out in Toronto, so he'll be back soon. But for now, let me give you a little update of what we've finished so far. Here's the desk with the chair, a little uh, cherry blossom tree, a bunch of clothes I haven't um, organized yet, don't look at that. My mirror, pretty nice. I was gonna get a closet organizer, but this place comes with like these built-in shelves, which is pretty cool. A uh, laundry hamper right there, and then this rug. So while I was unpacking, I actually realized I forgot to bring some shower curtains. So uh, unless I want to be mopping every single time I shower, it's probably a good idea to go buy some right now. So come on, let's go. So we just got back from getting the shower curtains. And when I was at the Dollarama, it was a little bit scary because um, it said like, you know, restricted items, non-essential. And I was like, oh, I think these are really essential for me. So I just tried it. And there was a few other restricted items that I couldn't buy. Like they had physically taken them out of inventory. But then the shower curtains I was able to buy, thank God. But today I'm really tired of unpacking, building furniture. So I think I'm gonna take the rest of the night off, go for a little jog. Then when I come back, I gotta do some studying for an assessment I have this week. So it looks like I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two of our move-in. We have a ton of unpacking to do, which I'm not looking forward to, but also kind of excited for it, you know, finding a little home for everything. But before we do that, we're going to go on a jog with our friend from school. It is absolutely beautiful outside. You cannot see that at all. How about now? Gorgeous outside, beautiful weather. Gonna go explore the city a little bit on a quick morning jog, get the blood pumping, get some activity in, get my steps in, and then we'll get back to unpacking. Looking forward to that too. So, see you soon. It's sunny in the most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. And if you take the wrong way, and maybe you should stay instead of turning around. So, 
What's up guys, just got back from the run. Uh, we were out for an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, we only ran for the first 20 minutes, but then we just walked and caught up and did a little bit of talking about Hamilton, about med school, about, about life in general, you know, one of those deep chats. And it's good, we walked um, walk slash ran 9K. I'm pretty sweaty now. I still have to get groceries and do some unpacking for the day but I think I'll just have a quick shower. Also, let me show you this shower situation we got going on right now. I bought some shower curtains, uh, but we don't have any rings on, on the curtains, so. Okay, they've fallen. So this is where the shower curtains would normally be, and this is where they are in the tub. So I gotta get some shower rings too. But yeah, besides that, we're making some uh, Korean army stew tonight. Uh, I'll show you some pictures of that. But for now, let's do a little bit of unpacking and organize the room a little bit so it's not just these piles of clothes. So I tried to unpack unsuccessfully. Got about half my clothes in the closet before I ran out of hangers. I had to go get some groceries anyway, so get some hangers along the way. Also pick up some shower rings so my curtains don't fall mid-shower again. And I'll show you around the grocery store. It's called Nations. Uh, it's a local multicultural store which hopefully has everything I'm gonna be needing to uh, make the Korean army stew tonight. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we're back from the grocery store. Uh, it took a little bit longer than expected because I bought a little bit too much stuff. I got a little carried away, but we're ready to go ahead and get ready with the stew. So first things first, let's sharpen our knife and get everything ready. Welcome to another episode of Binging with Eric. Today we're gonna to start Korean army stew by cutting and peeling one onion. Onion really has a lot of layers. It's a really complex vegetable. But next we'll move on to something a little simpler, the cabbage. Let's do one piece, two, three, four. Actually, let's do five. I think five is good. Of course, peeled garlic and green onions for the accoutrement. Of course, you gotta crush that garlic. Next, we're gonna make our sauce. We've got the garlic, soy sauce, a little sugar, gochujang, as well, a few dashes, crushed black pepper, and of course, we're gonna mix that all up. We're gonna start assembling in our pan. You realize our pan is a little too small. And then, start putting the bigger pan, cabbage, onions, these sausages, we couldn't find spam, so we use those instead. Rearrange because we didn't have enough space. Hot peppers, green onions, accoutrement, and of course, ramen in our sauce. Adding a little stock to bring that to a boil. Of course, crank that baby to high. And 20 minutes later, we have a Korean army stew. Beautiful. So, final update of the night it is 11.23. So after I had lunch, I totally forgot to keep vlogging during the day, but I, uh, two friends visit the apartment, check out the place, what we're doing with it. We went and tossed frisbee around for a little bit. And then I went to Walmart uh, to pick up some things, but then I realized that everything I needed was non-essential. So um, instead of buying it there, I had to come home, order it online, and then they'll deliver it to my house on Tuesday, which is fine, you know, the rules are the rules, whatever. But uh, after that, I just spent the rest of the night unpacking Okay, now on to the main attraction. So this is the room, still a little messy, still has some stuff to unpack on the ground, but you can see it got some posters up, uh, world map, periodic table, human body, and then also this. So lights off for full effect. And let's turn these on. 
Got my LED lights. Ooh, ah. I think this purple color really uh, goes well with the aesthetic of the room. Also, I put some lights on the back of my desk. Still setting it up. Oh, I'll do that tomorrow, but you can see there's like a little like backlighting there. That's what's going on with me right now. I think tomorrow we're going to finish setting up the desk in the morning and then we'll do a little before and after preview uh, of the whole moving experience. So thanks for joining me along this ride and it's getting late. I wanna take a shower and then head off to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. It is now seven o'clock in the morning on day three. Just made some tea and I'm ready to hang out for a little bit, enjoy the view, and then go finish uh, setting up my desk, making that Walmart order, and then getting the internet service. Technician should be here in like an hour or two. So uh, hopefully that's the last thing I have to do. No more unwelcome surprises. While we're here, let me show you guys the view of what I'm looking at. So this is the full 180 view from, from our balcony. It's pretty nice, huh? Nice way to start off the morning, relax a little bit, fully wake up uh, before delving into some work. Yeah, I can definitely see myself doing a lot of Anki on this balcony or just studying in general. Nice way to get some fresh air and uh, not be cooped in, up inside all day. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, I'm gonna finish my tea and then we can finish up setting up my desk. See you there. So the tour of our kitchen, this is toaster of course, knife block, basket of tools. And then over on the next cabinet, we have some of my things. So uh, some cups and mugs, hopefully some plates I'm gonna get, uh, vitamins, sauces, uh, and there's some spices behind that as well. And then up top we have uh, these milk tea packets I really like, uh, some meal prep containers and a bag of sugar. And I'm pretty sure these cabinets are still empty. We kind of have a lot of space. Oh, these are not empty. I think Sam put stuff in there. What's in here? Okay, our drawers are full now. Then here are some cups and plates, bowls. And I think down here in have uh, some appliances. So I have a rice cooker, steamer, blender in the back, air fryer, some pots and pans, colander, cutting board. Yeah, some serving dishes, nice. For, uh, hopefully entertaining some dinner party guests once we you know actually uh, are allowed to down here we have some pots and pans you know nothing out of the ordinary this is the left side of the closet up top I got some uh, hats up here and then some shorts cool pants that are not black cool pants that are black dressier pants and here I have um, a bag in the front like a little fanny pack and then all my shirts lots of lots of color diversity here I know um, here we have some jackets, so these are like, you know, more fall time laundry hamper on the left and then shoes at the bottom. So again, the rest of the shoes at the bottom, uh, continuation of jackets and then going to sweaters. After sweaters, I think I have, yeah, some workout gear, just like, you know, a little stuff to wear if it gets chilly outside during a run or anything. Two polos when I have to dress up a little bit. Then in the back, I have um, some longer pants for working out, some workout shirts, uh, socks, and then boxers inside that. But I'll spare you from having to see that. happened to my hair <laughs> but anyways this has been it for the moving vlog thank you so much for being here with me it made it a little bit less lonely and a lot more fun like usual that's been your daily dose of Medi's sun and I'll see you in the next video